Hello and welcome. My name is Tom Honig. Uh, we are at GTI Spindle Technology today to show you a short video of a nine-step tour of our spindle rebuild facility. Uh, you may have seen in the beginning of the video, we had a fork truck coming in into our shipping bay and that's where we are at is in shipping and receiving. As you can see, we get variety of spindles in from this 50 taper high speed machining center you see here on the pallet on the floor to very high speed intricate uh, grinding spindles and dressing spindles from anywhere from 50,000 RPMs to 200,000 RPM in speed, oil mist lubricated, very sophisticated precision spindles. Um, our facility can handle anything from hydrodynamic to hydrostatic, air bearing, ball bearing, uh, all types of spindles, both foreign and domestic. Now, the second step of our tour will be moving on to our initial vibration testing when a spindle comes in. So if a spindle turns uh, freely by hand at this point in the process, we will move to actually running your spindle and I'll explain that in our second step. Okay, welcome to our second step of the process. Um, you might wonder why we're here doing vibration analysis at only step two of our juncture. And we do this for our customers. Our customers uh, send an average of two to four spindles a month. Uh, that we catch here at GTI that really have nothing wrong with them. The spindles were sent in for a finish or a chatter issue on the machine. Uh, we get them in. If we can hand rotate the spindle and the electrical tests out fine, we will move into our test stand and come and do an immediate vibration analysis, which you can see on our iPad software here, we're checking for one times running speed, uh, for imbalance, we're checking for misalignment in multiples of the running speed, or we're checking on uh, acceleration to find out what condition the bearings are in. And again, two uh, to four times a month, we catch spindles uh, that, in other words, are in good shape. We'll have a conversation with that customer, I'll let them know it goes through a QC again, and the spindle will return, and we very often solve uh, those issues. So an important part of our cause of failure uh, analysis is number one doing a full test run of the spindle and we will now move to our next step okay we are here at the third part or section of our video uh, this is tear down and clean it is the dirty part of our business as you can see behind me uh, these components and spindles come in they're in very harsh environments so uh, we've got a lot of grease and grime to deal with but all the spindles have to be broken down and cleaned uh, before they hit the inspection section of of the tour um, so that is where this is done uh, we do take important criteria we take digital pictures of every single component as it comes apart to assure that it goes back together correctly and that the finished technicians uh, can see part of the cause of failure and the components as they were coming apart. Um, also some uh, indicator runout measurements are done at this point as well. Um, but most everything else is left to our next section with which is inspection. Okay, we are at our fourth step of our tour. Um, this is cause of failure and our inspection uh, station where all the spindle components after they're broken down and clean uh, all the shafts and housings are checked for alignment run out and all these different things but more importantly what we look at here is what actually caused the spindles to fail and you can see on this chart behind the wall we have several uh, charts and diagrams to go from from the bearing manufacturers also with a, incorporated with a lot of training from the bearing manufacturers uh, to know what signs to look at, both on the spindle and the bearings, to find out what was the initial cause of failure. And I've got a few things here uh, as a prop. This is a particular bearing that was a lack of lubrication. And you can see the dryness of the, the cage tells us uh, that there was no lubrication. This is an oil misted spindle. There should be oil present. There isn't. And of course, when we take the bearing apart, we'll see other evidence of lack of lubrication in there. Um, we also have another bearing here that is contamination and it'd be tough for you to see in the video but we can see all kinds of metal particulate that's gathered uh, in just beyond the labyrinth of the spindle into the bearing. And a unique one I found here as well uh, that doesn't get caught a lot. This is a spindle that came back uh, to us that we were told by the customer it didn't run very long in the field 
and uh, the bearings looked uh, to the layman to be perfectly intact. But as we look close to the balls, there's several streaks of different paths that the ball rode on in its raceway, rather than riding on one specific path. And what that tells us is we had a lack of preload in this bearing, and it just didn't last long for the customer. So we know whoever uh, put that spindle together just didn't uh, check its preload, and the spindle just didn't have a, a good life cycle. So these are important criteria that we communicate back to you, the customer, so that uh, many times you're already running another spare spindle in place of that machine and we get this information to you in the quoting process so that in fact you know before you get your spindle back of what caused your spindle to fail whether it was uh, operator induced machine induced we want you to know that information and we feel that's what separates us between our competitors is we make uh, a very stringent effort to bring this information to you as quickly as possible and now we'll move to our next step. Okay, briefly, we are on our fifth step of the process, which is the approval and quoting process. So uh, now that we've gotten all the information from the technicians, uh, from the breakdown and the technical part, that's all been compiled, what components are needed for the spindle. And uh, that is formulated into a, uh, a hardcore quote for the customer uh, so that there's no guessing anymore. It's not an estimate, it is a full quote. And that is delivered off to you, the customer, so that in that time we can uh, await for your approval. And if we don't get uh, an approval within the first 12 hours of submitting the quote, uh, our sales team and uh, customer service team will call to make sure things don't get hung up so we know you get your machinery and your equipment back and running. Okay, we are on the sixth step of the process here at our tour, and I'm here with Bogdan, and we're in the assembly area. We have several uh, benches for assembly. Many of the technicians work to assemble all the different types of spindles that we have. And uh, Bogdan, why don't you tell me what, what is the most important part of the assembly process uh, that we see with spindles day to day? Actually, what we are focused about preload and runout before to end assembly, we are looking for square surfaces, good shoulders, good spacers, grind the spacers. So parallel and parallel. everything being precision, which yes. I believe we recheck everything that's been checked in the inspection area. We recheck before we put the spindles together again here in the assembly area. Of course, we do recheck. Sometimes we have to change the preload, grinding the spacers. Yep, loading, make adjustments. Unloading, making adjustments. Very good. On the spacer. So we got and how long have you been doing this, Bogdan? I'm doing from 17 years. Only 17 years. So. Uh, this is the assembly process. Uh, we're going to move to the next step. Okay, we are at the seventh step of the process, which is a very important step, and uh, which is test run and vibration analysis. And one thing I want to state is rest assured, we do not do any type of spindle or motor that we cannot run and, and test run and do vibration analysis and balancing on. So. Uh, just the point I wanted to make, and we have a variety of run-in stations from belt-driven like what's behind me here, and you can see our vibration analysis software, the Vibe Pro system working behind us. We have uh, small spindles such as uh, small belt-driven here. Uh, a majority of high-frequency drives that you see running in the room here, we can vertical test run, horizontal test run, any type of spindle, both hydrostatic, hydrodynamic, and or high frequency or air bearing. Uh, we are prepared to do all water cooled or air cooled. So uh, it's a very important part of our step. Vibration analysis is something we look at all the bearing conditions, all the uh, misalignment, imbalance. We check for all that uh, in the test run process and we break in all our grease pack bearings to the nth degree. Uh, so this is our test uh, run room and we will from here move to the next step. Okay, we are on the eighth section of our tour. Uh, this is the QC uh, department of GTI Spindle. Uh, this is appointed to a specific individual that is not part of the technician team. He is uh, responsible for this department and responsible for rechecking everything that has already been, has been inspected by our technicians. So that means every attribute of the spindle. Uh, it's the field windings uh, can be mega tested again. Uh, draw bar retention is tested again. Uh, run out readings are tested again. Vibration analysis is reviewed again from the test run station. Any sensors or encoders are rechecked here once again. And it's almost a 60 point check uh, from one end of the spindle 
to the other uh, is the form that is entered into the computer here and submitted to you as our final inspection report that you receive in a Ziploc envelope when you receive our spindles. So uh, this is a real important part of what we feel separates us from the rest. Uh, we put a, a lot of money and effort into this department. If we don't have tooling for your spindle, we make sure that it has tooling and it is all checked before it leaves our facility. So uh, we hope you take particular attention to this part of the tour uh, and see that we do check things here twice so that you don't have to. Okay, this uh, is just before the last section of our, our tour, but we wanted to add this in. Uh, we're still in the inspection room, but we wanted to show you uh, many of our customers uh, run into multiple failures of the same type of spindle uh, where it's impeding into manufacturing and it comes to our attention that uh, our engineering department has to get involved and help improve a particular spindle. Many spindles were designed for one thing may be being implemented into another at this time. So uh, what we've done is we've paired with a lot of the bearing companies and a lot of other specialty hybrid companies for specialized seals to incorporate and manufacture and design into the front of the spindle to improve contamination prevention and these types of things. We also convert a lot of spindles from uh, standard precision bearings to hybrid ceramic bearings, uh, which is an important uh, life improvement for the spindles as well in certain applications. So, uh, and there are a multitude of other things I can get into from drawbar improvements and, and many other design changes that we have done to improve a spindles uh, life in the application that it's being used in in today's uh, environment so that we can give you the best life cycle of your spindle possible and uh, we invite you to uh, you know definitely uh, approach our engineering team for any of the many challenging uh, spindle problems that you may have Okay, we are at the final part of our tour here at GTI, which is the shipping department. After uh, spindles roll through this QC door, uh, they are boxed up with our inspection reports. All of the old components that were not used are also put into the boxes uh, so that you can collaborate with our cause of failure findings. And we have our own custom boxes that are made uh, to show the quality of everything. So uh, when you do get a spindle, it's reinforced properly. Uh, bearings are not jarred around and damaged in shipping so that when you get our final product, this is what you see. Um, so uh, this concludes our tour. If you'd like more information from us, please find us on the web at www.gtispindle.com or you can reach us at uh, our New Hampshire facility at 603-669-5993. We thank you for your attention to this tour and look forward to your questions. Thank you.